So this big blister you see on the ceiling is caused by a roof leak. I thought I'd solved it last year. Uh, let me show you uh, a section of the roof where you can actually see the roof decking over here. So I thought the water was initially coming in at a roof drain. It's just behind me here. Right there, you can see where it comes through the decking. And I thought the water was sneaking past the drain and then following the channel down towards the location of where the leak is. Buckle up for safety as I give you a day in the life of facilities maintenance. So if I were to landmark this top side, this is the drain that uh, I was just showing you from beneath. And it was leaking before, water was getting underneath the membrane at this point. And so last year I took it all apart and um, cleaned everything up and resealed it. So I know that this is not where the water is coming through now. But what I thought was happening is that the water was getting in under the membrane here and then just following the natural channel all the way along until uh, like the channel in the roof decking you know how it's got the grooves in it following that pathway until right about here uh, until it hit the seam where the two different panels the, the the roof decking panels meet and leaking through and because water was coming through at that drain I figured I'd solve that problem, but that's the thing with roof leaks. You're always chasing them around. And so what I'm going to look at next is that drain right there. The channels here run this way. So if water is getting into the channel, which often happens and then travels, water getting into the channel could go like way over there or it could go way down there. But it wouldn't necessarily come here where I'm standing, which is where our leak is, unless, if you know how the layers are constructed, the sandwich that makes up our roof deck, um, we've got our gravel here. Underneath that is a rubber membrane. Underneath that, there could be like styrofoam insulation, a few inches thick, uh, then our roof decking. So what I'm wondering what could be happening is that the water is getting in underneath here and traveling along the top of the styrofoam insulation and coming through the seams between the two metal decking panels. You know, finding a seam in the styrofoam at that location, you don't know because it's all hidden from us. So at the end of the day, what I can do is I can reseal this drain in the same way that I did that one over there and continues to leak at that point there could be an imperfection somewhere you know as simple as a sharp object or a sharp rock is down here and someone stepped on it and pierced a little hole anywhere around here but I don't think that's what it is usually it's findable if you have the patience to keep looking I've done that drain so I'm just gonna systematically eliminate possibilities until the leak disappears and so next is this drain but you know with the standing water that I've got here right now and it's supposed to be nice weather this week maybe I want to wait until tomorrow or the next day when the water disappears and then I'll be able to make a better uh, seal on this leak I don't know or do I just start clearing the rocks away now. This is why I buy waterproof boots. Baskets are quite easy to remove. That's how you remove them. <laughs> it doesn't damage them. They're very flexible and they just hook in underneath these tabs right here it's a pretty simple system really where the leaks will often occur is the water gets past this membrane and sneaks underneath because you know the sealant that they used when they first clamped this all together 
that just doesn't hold up over the decades. This roof is, uh, we're actually 27, 28 years old now. So to repair this, what I will do is undo these half inch nuts here, um, remove this ring, clean all of this, clean underneath the ring, and uh, apply roofing sealant underneath the membrane, on top of the ring, at the posts, this water can sneak in at the post as well, clamp it back down, and then I know that the water is going from here down the drain, not getting underneath the membrane. At this point though, I'm not going to undo this clamped ring here while I'm understanding water. I mean, there are times when you need to make an emergency repair and you don't have a choice. When you're roofing, you have to make the repair when it's wet, but I have the luxury of waiting until some of this water dries up. Because what I don't want to do is undo this this here and even if it is leaking right now if I take it off then I take the chance of introducing a lot more water where I don't want it to go so I'm just gonna wait for this to recede a bit and uh, maybe later today or tomorrow I'll be coming back to this and so uh, I'll see you then in the meantime, while I'm up here, it's always fun to uh, clear some balls off the roof. Looks like I have at least four possibilities to make the money shot from up here. Well, if you don't know what I mean by money shot, You will see. Cinderella story. Last game of the season already comes off the bench because the top three starters have just fouled out of the game. He's got to make this shot from behind the backboard. He steps up with confidence. He knows it's going in before he even takes the shot. <laughs> the game is won. The game is over. He's won it for the stroke. The champion. They wear the crown, they bring home the trophy!